10 Best Antivirus Apps for Android Number 10. McAfee McAfee is one of the biggest names in antivirus apps. It's also one of the heaviest. The app includes scanning, anti-theft, anti-spyware, and security locking features. Additionally, it can take photos of your potential phone thief, record locations to the cloud before the phone shuts down, and more useful stuff. McAfee also has a variety of standalone apps for other things. The antivirus portion of the app does work rather well, and some of the tertiary features are nice. The lower tier subscription adds photo and video backup, an app locker, and internet protection. The more expensive one adds additional protection for things like online banking. Number 9. Malwarebytes Security Malwarebytes is one of the most popular antivirus apps on Windows. The mobile version is pretty good too. It features an aggressively updated virus database, support for malware and ransomware, a permission tracker, and more. It can even scan messages in WhatsApp, Facebook, SMS, etc. for potentially dangerous links. Of course, it does the usual stuff like scanning as well. The app looks nice, works well, and it's not too heavy like others. It's also reasonably priced at $1.49 per month, or $11.99 per year. Number 8. Lookout Security and Antivirus Lookout is another popular antivirus and anti-malware app. It comes pre-installed on many devices, especially on carriers like T-Mobile. It does the basics fairly well. That includes scans, phishing protection, malware protection, anti-theft features, and more. It also comes with some unique stuff like identity protection, identity insurance, and Wi-Fi scanning. That gives it a bit of a different perspective than most antivirus apps. There are two tiers of protection. The first is pretty standard stuff for $4 per month. The higher $10 tier adds win million dollars in identity theft insurance, identity monitoring, and a few other features. Number 7. Kaspersky Security and VPN Kaspersky is one of the most popular antivirus apps. It has both a free and pro version. Both versions offer SMS and call blocking, scans, virus updates, and anti-theft. The premium version adds things like real-time protection, an app lock, and more. Of course, both versions have device scanning for malware and stuff like that. It isn't nearly as heavy as the biggest antivirus apps. Plus, it doesn't have hardly any nasty booster features that don't work. The subscription pricing is relatively cheap if you only need support for one device. Number 6. ESET Mobile Security. ESET is another big name in the antivirus and anti-malware world. It has a decent set of features, including scans, anti-theft support, a security auditor feature, scan scheduling, and more. The setup process is a bit intrusive. It's one of the few that require an email address. Otherwise, it works pretty well. You get a free one-month trial upon installation. From there, it goes for $1.99 per month, or $14.99 per year. It's not quite as heavy as something as Avast, or AVG, but it is heavier than CM Security Lite or Bitdefender. Number 5. Dr. Web Security Space. Dr. Web is one of the older antivirus apps and anti-malware apps. It has a decent set of features, including quick and full scans, protection from ransomware, a quarantine space, and even stats. Along with that, it has good anti-theft features, call, an SMS filtering, URL filtering, parental controls, a firewall, and more. It's also fairly inexpensive. It goes for an even $8 to $16 for 1 to 2 years. There is also a lifetime license for $89. The lifetime license is a tad pricey, but it is an opportunity to get away from the monthly subscription if you want. Number 4. Bitdefender Free Antivirus Bitdefender Antivirus is one of the few actually free antivirus apps. It hasn't changed much over the years. It offers a basic scanning feature, a simple interface, quick performance, and no configuration. This is a great one for super basic needs. All it really does is scan stuff and then sit there and wait to scan stuff again. 
there is a larger, more in-depth Bitdefender app. However, we think this one is better for those who just want something simple. It's also actually free with no in-app purchases or subscriptions. Number 3. AVG Antivirus. AVG is another big name in the antivirus app space. In fact, it's basically the same as Avast. Avast actually purchased AVG back in 2016. Thus, the experience is similar in both antivirus apps. You can scan your phone and find potential vulnerabilities in much the same way. This one has anti-theft tracking via Google Maps, but it doesn't have the rooted firewall availability as Avast does. Thus, they are different enough to be different products. The price tiers and premium features are identical to Avast. Number 2. Avast Antivirus. Avast Mobile Security is one of the most popular antivirus apps on any platform. It boasts over 100 million downloads and tons of features. Some of the features include the classic antivirus scanning, an app lock, call blocker, anti-theft support, a photo vault, and even a firewall for rooted Android devices. That makes it an excellent tool even if you don't need the antivirus part very often. There are also some booster features, but as usual, you should avoid those. The free version comes with most features and is supported by ads. The premium versions come with more security features, no ads, and the most expensive version includes a VPN as well. And finally number 1. Avira. Avira is one of the newer antivirus apps comparatively speaking. It grew rather quickly over the last year. The app comes with the basics, including device scans, real-time protection, external SD card scans, and a lot more. This one also comes with a VPN for an added layer of security. Some other features include anti-theft support, privacy scanning, blacklisting, and even device admin features. It's much lighter than apps like Norton and others. The free version is functional for basic things. The premium versions include three tiered prices that add things like the aforementioned VPN, password generation, more frequent virus database updates, and more. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.